Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Sunday morning mountain weather update. I showed you the cam from Loveland yesterday morning where it was shrouded with some leftover snow. Now look at it. Completely clear, beautiful sunny morning up there at the uh, 12,700 foot mark up there on the Continental Divide. Temps up there at that altitude running about 10 degrees, 10 to 12 degrees this morning. But a beautiful morning. There is snow in my forecast. and Let me just show you my timeline. I talked about this yesterday. Storm, The next storm that will hit the Pacific Northwest with the trajectory would be 416 to 419. That storm would then move into the northern tier and affect and potentially affect Utah and Colorado with some downstream snow. And the second storm would be the similar uh, type of trajectory, 419 to 422. And then the third storm, uh, 423 to 426. So that third storm um, is really interesting, you know, tracking it over the last three or four days. It was very questionable three or four days. Now it looks like it's going to be likely somewhere in there, and it could have um, it could have some strength to it. Now, the question of high pressure into May 1st, it still looks like that's definitely possible, um, although some of the high pressure readings are just not as strong, and I'll show you that uh, with the forecast coming up. Let me show you the jet here on 425. You can see a very well-defined trough here with an area of low pressure moving through Utah, Colorado, Wyoming. So between 423 and 425, and even 426, if it gets hung up and spins up into an Albuquerque low, it'll hang around to 426, but it could hit Colorado pretty good. Um, so that's something to watch downstream, 425. Then what happens after that? Um, so this is the forecast on May 1st, late April, May 1st. Yesterday, there was definitely, and this is the, um, the American Ensemble, there's definitely an indication that we were going to see high pressure ridging yesterday. There's not as much ridging today. In fact, there's almost, um, there's more lower pressure readings in the middle. This is forecast middle atmosphere pressure anomalies. There's more of a low pressure anomaly than what we were seeing yesterday. So this forecast a little bit in flux for May 1st, but um, we'll definitely keep an eye on that one. All right, let me show you what the um, forecast radar and satellite will look like here over the next four or five days. So here's Monday morning, high and dry, Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, waiting on the next storm. Here it comes. Eclipse Northern California, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. Here comes the second low. You can see it coming into the Pacific Northwest, um, and that'll run us all the way into late 421. And then, of course, there's another storm, 23 through 26. Um, but those first two storms have a very similar trajectory. Let me show you the numbers that I'm thinking about here. So 416 to 418, everything's up in the Pacific Northwest, Northern Tier, where we could see 6 to 12 inches, Washington up towards uh, Whistler, Blackcomb. And some decent numbers through parts of middle uh, Idaho into uh, Northwest Montana, and also Northern California getting clipped. But here's the second period. This is where most of the... Uh, accumulation occurs, especially as we get the second and third storms. We're looking at over a foot. I've got over a foot in the Tetons. The number's four, um, so let me just show you the, combi the combined numbers. So the first period in the Wasatch, three to six. Second period, another three to six. So potentially six to 12. Not as much as I was showing yesterday, but you know we could be very close to 900 inches by the time this the dust settles on uh, with this pattern on 425 at alta in colorado the numbers look pretty good central to northern mountains we could be looking at a foot or more especially in the summit county right on top of the continental divide again that largely depends on if we get a storm to spin up on 420 424 25 26 so we'll keep an eye on that but really good numbers in the pacific northwest with that trajectory just continuing to bring the the moisture into that area all right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this Sunday morning update. The pattern's not done with the West. We've still got three storms lined up. Appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.